what I share online now has changed um, in recent years than it did when I first began. I think when I was younger, I used to be more transparent with how I'm feeling and like boy problems and stuff. You know, when I first started, it was sort of like, oh yeah, it's this novel, uh, you know, online tool and you just sort of put up everything. And that was really the point of it. That's what made it interesting. I only uh, post something that is not very important and not very private. A lot more recently, people are realizing how how dangerous it can be if you're not aware of your privacy. Yeah, I wouldn't share a dirty photo of myself. I don't even share like shirtless photos of myself. <laughs> um, I do post pictures of myself in a bathing suit. I have 700 Facebook friends, and well, it wouldn't be normal for me to like stand in a crowd of 700 people and then only wear a bikini. I do post pictures of myself in underwear on social media. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm guilty. I think it all comes back to your image and your brand. If you're a porn star and that's what you do, by all means, go and post photos of you in a bikini. But that wouldn't, you know, that wouldn't line up with my brand, so I don't. We don't want people to know our bad and sad moments. We want everybody to think that we're strong. <laughs> My whole thing with social media is if you're not going to benefit someone's day, make them smile, make them laugh, or bring, you know, something to their day, there's no point. I, I always try to have an element of making people laugh when I post something, especially on Facebook. I guess this is what uh, gets me frustrated about social media, that everybody shares only the happy moments, you know? Our online identity is very much part of our real life identity now. For me, social media is not about every little moment. It's about special moments that I don't have everybody around me, so I want to show them.